Welcome back guys to the channel. So today I have a new unboxing for you. I got to look at the camera here. I'm always looking to the side because I tend to look at the middle of my phone, which I'm using to record this. So welcome back to the channel. So today I have a new unboxing and this is basically follows my last video, which is the other grip, the small rig. So now this is without all the extra bells and whistle, without those extra places where you could attach you know any other stuff that you would like to this is more of the grip and this is going to go with the cve 10 so this is more ergonomic just this one's more for the grip and yeah there's an extra cold shoe mount in there so you'll be able to use that and uh, we're going to be able to unbox this remove the let me get it right here remove the one that we attached on the previous video which i'm gonna link below so if you guys want to watch it how i install this we're just gonna remove this. It will be quick and easy. Then we're gonna mount the new grip, which is also made by Small Rig, which made this. This is gray, like I said. This is, um, you can mount plenty of accessories to this. But if you wanna have a smaller, more quick to go camera, and you don't wanna attach a lot of stuff to it and build it up, then they also have this available, which is the uh, grip. And we'll get to that here real quick. Stay tuned. Okay, so the following step, now that you have acquired your Small Rig, grip is if you do have the cage on your camera we're going to remove it real quick all you have to do is get the small allen key because there's two that came in put that to the side so we don't lose it and there's as well as the little key which fell off behind the table but i'll get it later so now we'll remove the bottom here so we'll take the key that came included put that back in the cage actually because it's magnetic and then we'll just Drop the camera out. There we go. So we'll put this to the side. We'll move that to the side. And we'll put the camera right here. So now we'll, we'll bring in the grip in. There you go. So once it's open, just like the cage, there's no documentation. And it should be fairly easy installation. So we'll throw that to the side. And nothing else in the box. We'll throw that to the side. So let's take a quick look on the grip itself. The craftsmanship, pretty nice. So let's see what we have. We have a line here for centering of the lens with the small ray uh, logo over here. We have a cold shoe mount over here. Let's see what else. So more mounts since this one takes care of the camera right here. Not sure what this is for, most likely maybe a linear. And it's padded, so your camera have a place to sit and not rub against it. So let's do the quick installation. So we'll grab the camera and it should be fairly easy. We we'll drop it in, nice and smooth. We do not need tools since this one has a handle on it. Let's make sure we set it up nice and tight there, not too tight. And then we just drop the little handle down. So here we have it. It's nice and installed. Let's take a quick look around. Feels pretty good in the hand. So let's compare real quick. So if you just want a nice, just a grip, not a cage, and your camera still be nice and small and very portable. This is still portable, but if you want a more portable camera, you could get this and uh, provide you a better grip and an extra mount for an extra accessory right over here. Now this will prefer if your camera is stationary and you need a lot of uh, mounts, I will recommend this one. So let's put that to the side and let's see it. One more time. Oh, there's something else right here. Not the mount area. Designed for CVE 10. All right, so we got through the unboxing. We seen in the previous video, the small red cage. What does this one provide that that one doesn't provide? Well, it provides a quicker maneuverable. So you could grab the camera, let's go shoot. You don't need to have those extra whistles that the small rig cage has. All you need is a nice grip. You just want to go in, take photos, be in and out. 
this is it right here. Now the other one I recommend it more for stationary at home filming. This one I recommend it if you just need to be out and you don't need those extra stuff. You still have your flash available. You have an extra accessory mount down here and you could just go in and take photos and be in and out and you have a nice grip. So yeah, that's my final thought on the grip. All right, thank you for watching. Peace out.